This is HTML lesson one. I'll be covering just kind of the basics of HTML. And this isn't going to be just all text like my PHP lesson. There'll be some pictures, and I'll be using Firefox and Dreamweaver as well. So to get started, what is HTML? HTML is a hypertext markup language. And the file extensions used are .html or .htm. Uh, they both work the same. The only reason there's a difference is because back in the olden days of computers, when file extensions could only use three characters, they abbreviated to HTM. What is a markup language? That is a programming language that allows you to have your basic text, uh, in this case for a web page, but then you use tags to manipulate it. So some things to remember while using HTML, uh, lay out your site if you can just how it looks to make sure you don't have too much on one page, uh, that everything flows okay, and so you kind of know what you're getting into when you are going to program it. And not just laying out the site, but also laying out your pages will help a lot too. Um, in this case I have a home page, which there will be links to the bio, some images and links. This will kind of let you know what you're getting into as well, how many pages you're going to need to create and so on. Also some other things to remember is that there's different browsers and they all have different versions as well and some things work in some and some things don't. Your website should be clear and concise. Um, try not to get too much on a page. You can always create more pages. Just kind of keep it clear, clean. Um, and when you're developing HTML pages, they don't have to be on the internet. You can keep them right on your computer and navigate right through them as if you were on the internet. So we will jump to Dreamweaver now. And this is what the basic page looks like if you create an HTML document in Dreamweaver. There are a bunch of different programs to use to create web pages like Dreamweaver or front page. I prefer Dreamweaver. Um, you don't need one, you can use Notepad just as easy as long as you know what you're typing in. Dreamweaver will help you out a little bit with giving you hints towards what you should be putting in. And when I learned, I preferred learning the, the code behind it versus designing in a design view where you can lay everything out visually. In this case, you use the code. So just looking at this document, it starts with this doc type information, which is machine language. The computers understand it to kind of tell you the browser how to use the page. And same thing with this part in the HTML tag. The regular HTML tag just tells that this is an HTML document. And then there's a head tag, which you can include things um, within that, different tags. This is a meta tag, and with that you can tell um, the browser different actions. You can also write descriptions for your web page um, or keywords for your web page. Then the title, this is what will show up on your web page. I'll put something in here like uh, my title, just something simple, and save that and open up the page here. And as you can see, it changed up here. That's the title. You can also link to different files in there, um, cascading style sheets, uh, and I'll show that in a later lesson. And then next is the body tag. Whatever's in there is what's going to show up on the actual web page. So we'll just start out with some simple text here. Uh, this is a web page. And if I save that and refresh this, there it is. This is a web page. And now within there, there's different tags you can add to manipulate the text. Um, I will use h1, which is a header tag, and if I save that and refresh this, you can see it's a header. The font's a little bigger, and <coughs> it would be used as a header. So the next thing I'll do is add a line break, which is br. And I'll write something else, like the classic hello world. 
I'll save that and now hello world is back to its normal so we have a header and then a normal text um, so this is a good time for me to talk about closing tags as well for every tag you open there has to be a closing tag so this is saying the header is starting this is the content within the header and then this is ending which has a slash in front of the same tag br all that says is it's a line break so there wouldn't be a closing one so you add it in at the end to kind of close it off as well also html documents ignore spacing you can add more space in between there if you really want to however you want to organize it and it'll ignore it this is good because you can keep your document organized however you want but it does get kind of confusing sometimes if if for some reason you wanted a long space in between there in between this is a and web page and if I were to save that and then refresh the page it still is exactly the same it ignores that extra space now within the tags there's different attributes you can change as well uh, Dreamweaver will give you a list if you just hit space it gives you a long list of everything you can change so we'll change the background color for now and also with Dreamweaver it gives you a, a little drop down menu for colors so I'll pick a color and that's the code that it uses for the colors and I'll save that and if I refresh it it changes the background then so it's it's pretty simple but quite a bit to learn so I'll cover more detailed things uh, in future lessons and check out classictriple.com for more tutorials. Thanks.